Hey winners, Omar here. Today we're reviewing Fragrance One's Office for Men and Date for Men. Class is in session. Myself, like many others, got into the fragrance game because of Jeremy. You go to research one cologne you want to buy and then you discover this great looking man with a great energy, a powerful charisma, this ability to talk to women in public. People naturally love Jeremy and when he announced that he was going to release his own fragrances, they received a lot of hype. Eventually, these releases were surrounded by a lot of controversy. Let's see why. When looking at Jeremy's first two creations, we're gonna be comparing their scent profiles, their performance, and the occasions to wear these in. And no, the occasions is not that obvious. We'll start with Office for Men. Office for Men is a strong fragrance. I'm getting big, heavy doses of citrus, ambroxan, and vetiver. So this is a synthetic powerhouse, fairly simple, clean office fragrance. I kind of get a mainstream vibe from this fragrance. It feels like Jeremy asked Alberto Morias, the master perfumer who also made Date for Men, to make a mass appealing, compliment grabbing fragrance that builds on the success of things like Dior Sauvage or Creed Aventus. But at the end of the day, it is still its own unique creation. This is a linear fragrance and it's not mind blowing, but this will smell pleasant to most people. Compliment factor, high. And now let's move to date for men. When it comes to date for men, I feel that this has the same backbone as this. You can definitely wear office for men in the daytime and seamlessly transition into date for men. I'm not sure if Jeremy and Alberto intended to do this, but it's a nice touch. Date for Men is more complex than Office for Men. It has the same synthetic, strong, big, powerful backbone as Office, but this has a lot of sweetness at the top with a lot of fruits, and then keeps the Ambrox in there, but has more complex woods in the base with apparently an oud note in here. I'm struggling to pick it up. Either way, it's not the main character here. It's a fun, more interesting fragrance than Office for Men. It's big, loud, sweet, people love it. Compliment factor, high. This fragrance, I feel, got its inspiration from Jean-Paul Gaultier's Ultramal. It has that same sweet bubblegum vibe, but it smells a little bit more mature and refined at the same time. When it comes to performance, both of these are no slouch. When it comes to Office for Men, I'm getting 12 hours longevity, strong projection for the first three or four hours. Date for Men, I'm getting 12 hours longevity, strong projection for the first three or four hours. Jeremy has said before that a fragrance cannot be too strong and it definitely feels like he's applied that philosophy to these two creations. When it comes to occasions to wear these, yes guys, it's obvious. Office is for the office, date is for dates. But wait, there's more. For office, I feel it's a very bright, powerful, citrusy fragrance. So I definitely see this being worn as a casual daytime fragrance in most environments, especially in the warm weather with how much sharp citrus there is here. Date for men, as I said before, reminds me a little bit of Ultramal. So because of its DNA, as well as its monstrous performance, I think this could be worn for clubbing as well, if I'm honest. Although I'm sure Jeremy is in the works to create a specific clubbing fragrance. Our finishing thoughts. So generally I've said positive things about both of these. They're both easy to like, great performing, compliment grabbing fragrances, but still for Office for Men, I'm gonna give it a rating of seven and a half out of 10. And for Date for Men, I will be giving it an eight out of 10 as I like how it's more complex and less simplistic compared to Office. Why have these not been rated higher? And what has caused the controversy amongst these fragrances? Well, it's the reason why you're not seeing full bottles of these. And that is the price. If you go onto the Fragrance One website, you'll notice they're going for a minimalistic look, which I think is awesome. If we scroll down here and click on the products, you'll notice that Office for Men 100ml is 160 euros. 
And then if I click onto the 50 mil size, it's 145 euros. Now, I appreciate 100 ml is always going to be better value, but those prices are a little bit too close for my liking. I personally feel that Jeremy should reduce his prices overall in general and stop doing discounts. He's always said he wants to have a luxury brand. Most luxury brands like Chanel don't do discounts on their products. That's just my two cents. Overall though, guys, if you don't mind spending a bit more and you want to show your love and support for Jeremy and everything is done for this community, then get these, they're nice. You won't be disappointed. And if you don't want to get full bottles, you can be like me. I wanted to show my support regardless. I got these two 10 mLs. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. What do you guys think of Fragrance One? What videos would you guys like to see next from us? We'll see you in the next one, guys. Class dismissed.